Brakes are pretty cool. They're the things that stop you from crashing into other cars, trees, and that pesky kangaroo that jumped out in front of you on the highway. But not all brakes are made the same. When I made my video announcing that I was going to turbocharge my naturally aspirated Falcon, some commenters were quick to point out that the NA has different brakes to its turbo cousin, and that if I was to upgrade mine, well, I would end up blowing out my budget because it would be quite expensive. But if I didn't upgrade them, well, I would find myself on the wrong end of a Paul Walker incident. But let's be real, that would probably be my highest viewed video of all time. Whilst it's true that NA and Turbo Falcons have slightly different setups, upgrading isn't actually the budget breaking exercise you would be led to believe. You see, the NA and the Turbo Falcons both use the same size calipers, the same size brake pads, and there is no difference between their master cylinders. You see, the difference is that the turbo brakes use larger rotors and they have brackets to accommodate that extra girth. So obviously, the solution then is to simply change out your brackets and rotors to be the same as the turbo ones, and that's it. You've got yourself turbo brakes Really cheap. I didn't script that bit. So you got two bolts. One at the top, one down the bottom. Those are holding the caliper on. There's no need to undo brake lines or anything like that. We're just gonna zip tie it up out of our way. These are both 12 mil. I'm just gonna finish undoing this by finger. All right. So we're just gonna zip tie that up out of the way. Don't let it hang off the brake lines because that will hurt it. All right, there we go, zip tied up out of the way. Next is, well, can pull these brake pads out. I'm actually interested to see how much meat is left on these because heaps, absolutely heaps. Interesting. They've been on for a couple of years now as well. Kind of shows the quality of Bendix Ultimates, I guess. All right, where are the Bolts for this bracket. There they are. And what size are you, pray tell? That was a pretty good guess, straight off the mark. I think I might have been right. Yep. That one is a 15. But if you need me to show you where these four bolts are, you probably shouldn't be doing this, so before I get some people in the comments having a whinge about that. Keep that in mind. They're a bit bigger. It's a sizeable difference. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Ugh. Now, with the old Bendix Ultimate rotors, so there's the big difference. This one, the holes are kind of in it, whereas this one, the holes are further out, thus giving it that extra depth. All right. My little slide pins, I don't have replacement ones. Really should have replacement ones, but that was something that I uh, forgot about. I was meant to get some, but I forgot. So I'll just be reusing my slide pins, even though you really shouldn't do that. There will be a video later on completely servicing the calipers, changing all of the, the boots and the seals and everything, but for now, this is just showing the cheapest, quickest, easiest way to just throw turbo brakes on the Falcon. Don't forget to put your new rotors on before putting the new brackets on. The torque spec for the bolts holding the bracket on is 115 newton meters. Oh. Uh, would you be able to hand me the brake pads so I can at least whack them in once they're... Let's get that puppy closed. There we go. All right, time for a bit of Loctite on my bolts. Also something that you should probably be replacing uh, with major work, but again, not doing that this time. But in the future, there will be 
a video on doing the service, doing the full service, changing the slide pins for those bolts to go in, changing the seals, changing the boots and everything. And do that up to torque spec, whatever it is. The torque spec for those caliper bolts is 42 Newton meters. I am gonna- Two tone caliper on. I'm gonna paint the, <laughs> the two tone caliper, yeah. I actually am gonna paint the calipers black in the future though. Damn, you can see the scrape marks from where this one has come off in the past. No, I'm not gonna paint it red. Never. The only time, even if I had Brembo's, the Brembo's would be black. Bold. What colour should Josh do his calipers? <laughs> oh dear, can't what, wait. Whatever, whatever's voted on, you have to do. Yeah, whatever the top comment for colour is, is the colour I have to paint my front calipers. Uh, whether it be, you know, pink, That's blue, green, green, purple. I also want to give a big shout out to VMAX Brakes. They didn't sponsor this video, but I did buy the pads and rotors from them and they are fantastic quality. And the price is really competitive uh, compared to other rotors out there on the market. Also them actually made in Australia, which is fantastic. And with all that done, I don't think I really need to show you the other side because it's the exact same process just on the other side of the car. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.